Welcome to Level Learning, a Flowline video training series. Hello again, this is Mark with Flowline bringing you our Level Learning series. And today we're going to be talking about installing your sensor in a standpipe and how that can improve performance of an ultrasonic sensor in applications with extreme foam, turbulence, and vapor. We'll discuss proper standpipe component selection and assembly techniques to ensure reliable level measurement. So let's get started. First, let's begin with the principles of ultrasonic measurement so you can fully appreciate the benefits of standpipe installations. A sound pulse is emitted from the base of the transducer and it travels through air and reflects against the liquid and returns to the transducer. The sensor measures the time differential between sound transmission and receipt and translates this into liquid height or volume. In some applications, significant foam, vapor, or turbulence may exist. Foam and vapor absorb ultrasonic energy. Turbulence deflects it. This may result in signal attenuation causing poor sensor performance. Standpipe installations isolate surface foam, eliminate turbulence, and minimize vapor at the sensor's point of measurement. Avoid using standpipes in thick, coating, crystallizing, or scaling type liquids that leave material buildup on the inside of the pipe. Basic assembly includes a pipe and female threaded adapter. For 1 inch transducers, use a 2 inch pipe. For 2 inch transducers, use a 3 inch pipe and add a plastic reducer bushing for both between the transducer and adapter. The pipe length should equal the distance from the sensor to the bottom of the tank. The pipe must be smooth without couplings or holes. Then drill two 1 quarter inch pressure equalization holes in the pipe, just under the adapter. Be sure to place these inside the sensor's deadband. Finally, cut a 45 degree angle on the bottom of the pipe. This will dampen out any water hammer effects that might be caused by agitation. Now that we have our standpipe assembled, we need to install it. Be sure to locate the standpipe away from mixers, submersible pumps, or pipes. It should be firmly affixed to the tank or associated mounting apparatus. Make sure that the liquid level does not drop below the bottom of the standpipe where it could be ingested. Finally, the pipe may require periodic cleaning to eliminate material buildup over time. Be sure to follow appropriate safety precautions. Thanks for learning with Flowline. Please visit Flowline.com for more level learning videos. At Flowline, we do your level best.